Now the first thing we want to do is remove this old knob. Okay. And now we'll pull out the striker on. I'm going to slide out the striker. And I'm going to start to remove some of this filler. Look at this. It comes right out. Yep. And there's filler there because originally there was a full mortise lock like this and it filled that big cavity. When they took that out and replaced it with this, they had to backfill it with some blocks they and some putty. They had to fill it up. That's right. They didn't do a very good job of it either, I must say. So that means it's going to pop out pretty easily? All right. Let's hope so. It should come right out. Let's see how that fits. Look at that. Slips right in there. I have to trim it out a little more right in here to seat that in there nice. But now we have to deal with patching that hole. Rather than try to patch just the round hole, I'm going to patch this whole area right here. And by patch, you mean you're actually going to cut it away and put in a new piece. Right, and that's going to be called a Dutchman. So we're going to fix this damaged part of the door right here and also this edge that's broken. To do that, I've cut a template out of a piece of medium density fiberboard. I'm going to line it up with the edge of the door. And I'm going to square it up. I'm going to clamp it right to the edge of the door, nice and tight. OK, the size of my patch can be any length I want it to be, as long as it's longer than the mortise that the lock fitted. Why is that? Well, because I need something to fasten the patch to. Right. The width of the patch can be whatever I want it to be as long as it's wider than the diameter of the hole. Mm -hmm. But in this particular case, I'm going to make the patch from this side of the hole all the way over past the edge of the door. And so why come all the way to the edge? Well, because I want to patch this edge at the same time. Now what about the thickness? All right. What I did is I took a piece of standard pine and I ripped it down to a little bit thicker than I want the patch to be. So I'm going to set my router a little bit shallower than the thickness of the patch. And you're going to use a plunge router. Yeah. And in the plunge router, I have set up at the bottom a collar right here that will ride along my template in an upcutting spiral bit. Now I want to square up the corners. Okay, now I want to mark the length of my Dutchman and cut it on my saw. That's pretty good. Looks really good. Okay, so now I'm going to glue it. And here's where we can see why you overcut the length because we've actually got some meat to glue into here. That's right. If I had cut it too short, I have nothing to patch it to. So now I'm going to take my piece and I'm going to push it right into the wet glue. Let it ooze right out of there. All right, now you can see that our patch is sitting proud of the door on all three sides and also proud of the edge. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to knock that down using my hand plane, both on the top and the side. Now I'm just going to push a little bit of yellow glue in the crack and I'm going to force the glue into the crack with my finger along with a little bit of sawdust. Make up a little bit of my own filler. All right, Kevin, and that's how you do a Dutchman. <laughs> oh, that's great, Tommy. Absolutely seamless. All right, so all we'll do is we'll patch the other side, prime it, paint it, and then we're ready for some new old hardware. And when that new old hardware goes on, this door is going to look great. Nice sure. job. Thanks. Thanks.